and it's going to be interesting to see how this meta changes but as we jump into the first match right here, we got Sweet Lou versus Mono Mono coming out here. The Zelda versus the Mario. Mario all suited up the little Odyssey wedding Mario going too. Oh yeah. I mean this is super this is super galaxy game at X Collision. You gotta put on your nice studs here. Oh yeah, I mean only only the finest clothes for me in my fraternity letters, you know. But uh -huh. right now, what do you so okay. We've seen more and more Zelda, I feel like, come out recently, especially in the online play. What do you think of this character as of late, and especially in a matchup going against someone like Mario? Um, like, okay, my, honestly, um, this character makes me think I'm really glad that I'm not playing online tournaments because Zelda can be <laughs> really, really suffocating to fight against, uh, especially somebody who really knows what they're doing. Like, um, you know, Collision Smash and Tri-State Smash Goon Sweet Lou. Um... Sweet Lou always in the chat, always repping. Um, love to see, love to see Sweet Lou so shown out on stream and playing well. Oh yeah, and like you said, this character can kind of be uh, like very suppressive, Whoa. especially online. Wow, great kill coming out there from Sweet Lou taking that first stock. But this, mm -hmm. like I was saying, this character can be a very oppressive character and can really suppress like any momentum that you can kind of garner. Especially you see right there that neutral B is just something that, especially yeah. online where the reaction timing may not be as perfect as before. Like you're seeing these this neutral B come out that can just stop almost anything that you try and get up close with. And it can be really Ooh. difficult to get in on a character. Great use of the Phantom right there. Oh and the forward goodness. smash catching the roll in off stage. Wow, oh what and, a command and doing it all, start. Doing it all at the nice percent too. It, it, um, like that was, I think he took one hit of damage in that set, entire second stock and then um, like that was zero to death. Yep, Sweet Lou, she is just like, um, just always like that's what I love about uh, that's what I love about watching like even a, like even Zelda like ooh oh falling into that up smash, um, but I love watching Zelda because like you know what you're gonna get like the tools are right there and you know what you're gonna run into, like you know how strong these tools are but the they still allow for a lot of creativity and sweet lou she's giving you a lot of that right here you saw the forward um the forward uh, like aggressive up straight in and like even now like hitting the kit like hitting the kicks the execution's there it's really really impressive right now from sweet lou yeah what what uh, you can also notice as well is a character like zelda you're especially at at that lower percent and when you're trying to keep that space your only option is to really start using those specials so mario mm -hmm. has to start keeping his distance a little more and then because when you get in especially if you're doing something uh not safe on shield you risk getting hit by that neutral b and mm. risk any projectile being reflected by that neutral b or whatever it may be and it's just not a favorable situation so right now you have to see mono like really try and do something here to just keep that distance a little bit and find the ways that it oh the SD coming out from Sweet Lou, yep. but uh, Mono Mono tying it, tying it up to one apiece now on the stocks. Oh, but, that setup was so dirty. Mm -hmm. Got the bait uh, with that, looking for the jump up. Decided to not go for the jump, seeing Zelda right there. And just, what was that, the neutral get up on, on, off the ledge there? Yeah, yeah, neutral yeah. get up. It's, it's, uh, it's the Wi-Fi special. Yeah, I mean, Zelda has a really, a lot of ways that you can trick people on that ledge it has a lot of mix-up uh potential and it's i think personally zelda is one of the more uh, one of the more difficult characters to decide how you're gonna go from ledge just because mm. that phantom especially can cover so many options especially with zelda being allowed to free roam yeah and there's so many and there's so many different timings you can do with it um there, like there's so many different timings you can do with it and then also you have to counteract like the s smash and the neutral b or if you're gonna jump maybe she's gonna like zelda zelda blows you there are a lot of characters in this game and especially on wi-fi there are a lot of characters that just blow you up on ledge zelda is one of the most punishing because of the plethora of mix-ups that she has on ledge mm -hmm. um and, and like it's not just the neutral, it's not just the phantom, it's not just the down B. It's the amount of mix-ups that she has on the down B. Like she can tie, she can charge for different amounts of time. Um, and it's it's real. And like the active frames on the S match, she, she just really has all the tools. I mean, like she literally royalty. You gotta respect her. And we're seeing right now in this game too the counter pick from Mono going over to Town and City. What do you think of this counter pick compared to Pokemon Stadium here for Mario? Um, if you want to throw fireballs, this is a great stage. Um, and I think we're seeing a lot of that, uh, or we're seeing a little bit of that early on from Mono, 
Um, but, I mean, if you're just going to throw fireballs from far away, that's kind of a zero-sum game, uh, considering how how much utility Zelda has on the on the um, the B but uh, the neutral B. Mm -hmm. And especially right now, we're seeing uh, Sweet Lou being able to get in a lot more on Mono than Mono is on Sweet Lou. Especially, you see once again the second that Mono's Ooh. even wow. Okay, and you can't like you. That's that's the thing. Like you know that stuff's coming. You, mm -hmm. Like this, you cannot sleep and like just go through go through the motions of the ledge jump or like short like ledge hop double jump cape like zelda does like you will get punished for that against zelda mm -hmm. does i does the phantom even have properties to be reflected by cape um it can be reflected yes okay so that but... like that's a decent play but it's a really tough timing window especially when you consider how much like you know that the that ain't falco big. That sword is big, and it's going to be really yeah. difficult to time that exactly. But mm -hmm. what I'm wanting to see from Mono right now is we're not seeing a lot of these, like, safe on-shield options. We're mm -hmm. seeing, like, any time that... Wow, the Phantom again killing. Like, we're not seeing a lot... Any time Mono's able to get in, we're not seeing the, those safer options that can lead to potential startups. Because, you know, you know, Mario, once you get into a combo, you're taking, like, 50-60 if they do it correctly. Should and be, yeah. We're just, we're just not seeing oh, those no. safe options. Oh, my That goodness. was a zero to death in the game two final stock. And Sweet Lou with the impressive three stock right there in that game two. And...